welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a makeup look, a get ready with me, using some cool shit. So this is some stuff that's new to my collection and the best part is some of it I bought, some of it was given to me by my friends this weekend so I thought this would be kind of a fun video. I kind of want to do a separate video talking about Ipsy live and my weekend in New York. But I haven't unpacked all my goodies yet, all the cool stuff I got. And so I thought, hey, let's film. It's so convenient, everything is in one place, which is so handy for me if you're lazy like me. So that's what we're gonna do. And I got this. I know, I thought I wasn't gonna get it, but you know what? I thought these shades look so beautiful. I watch Wayne Goss's Swash Party video. I think my friend Leticia and Nethmi both got the palette. And I was like, you know what? I think it's beautiful. So I saw it in New York and I was like, let me just grab it. Let me try it out. Let me test it. See if it is a tan girl friendly. So you guys know my go-to eye primer. I actually got the new, not the new, I got the darkest shade. This is Etch. Um, and I really like this shade because I really think it like blends into my skin tone better. I still really want to try the P. Louise base and Morphe was at Ipsy Live, but the line was so long and I kind of actually forgot. Like I forgot to check to see if it was there. The, um, what's it called? The P. Louise um, eye base or whatever. So I never got it. But that's okay, I do like the Makeup Revolution products. So I have all three colors now and maybe I'll show you guys swatches at some point. So here's what this palette looks like. Oh my goodness. These shades are so beautiful. The shade OA is stunning. I think she said that's like a TV show she likes to watch. So, hmm. I'm trying not to do like the expected look but I don't know what the unexpected look would be. I haven't actually seen anyone, like I've seen finished looks, but I haven't watched any videos of people playing with these palettes, so I have no idea where to go. I think I'm gonna start with the shade um, Bible. It's like a mauve gray tone shade, and I'm grabbing the Sonia G Blender Pro. This is like a smaller blending brush. It was so funny. I met one of my subbies this weekend. Um, she's actually, I'm just going to call her a friend. Um, and it was so funny because we just like talked and talked and talked and talked. And one of the things she asked me, she's like, so are Sonia G brushes like worth it? Are Wayne Goss brushes worth the price point? And I was like, I never want to be like, oh my gosh, yeah, buy it. It's so good because these are like ridiculous prices. But what I said to her was, I think the quality is unbeatable. Like for me, these brushes hold up so well. They're so soft. They're such unique shapes and they blend things so magically. So like if you can, you know, if you see a need for it, you know, I would say go for it. Like it's not that I can't do my makeup with a Morphe brush. And my most of my brush collection is Morphe. I like these brushes because they do such good work when it comes to like placing product in certain spots. So like I love them so much for that reason. And I think that they definitely have helped improve my eyeshadow looks. So hopefully that kind of gives you guys an idea of what I'm trying to say. I just think they are beautiful and they're worth it for me. So hopefully that explains things. <laughs> I'm gonna go into um, Stev, I think actually. It's like a beautiful red, because I wanna brighten up the crease and I'm using the Sonia G Worker Pro. This is such a nice brush. It's like a flat blending brush. You can use this to blend as well as I think like pack a shade on, like a lid shade. This color reminds me of the red in the Manny MUA X Makeup Geek palette. If any of you guys have that, this is kind of a similar red. It's like a muted 
red. It's not really like a burgundy necessarily, but it's like a wine, like a red wine shade. Well, not all red wine, but some red wine. So, yeah. I wasn't going to buy this, like I said. But I've heard so many people say good things about it. And I'm still a sucker for Anastasia. I did buy the big Norvina palettes. And I didn't think I was going to buy the Carly Bible palette. Because Carly's vibe is definitely not my vibe. You know, she's very much like a very like Kim Kardashian looking, you know, beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, just like, you know, not really my style. Um, she has like a very, uh, I don't even know, like her, our like dress sense is different. I like dress more, um, I don't know. We just have different tastes. So anyway, I didn't think I would pick this up. So far, the shade Bible was pretty stiff, it was okay. I was kind of expecting a little more from it, um, but I, it made a beautiful color. Now I'm just gonna use the same brush and go into Bowie, um, just to darken up the outer crease some more. This um, palette, I feel like, is definitely leaning kind of cool tone. The, the mattes are giving me like cool tone vibes. And I feel like, I don't really have a color that's like deep enough to darken out the outer corner so that's something to keep in mind. I do feel like this was like their um, white girl friendly palette. Um, you know, so I don't think necessarily you would need both. Like if you're darker you can go with the Jackie Ina palette. If you are lighter you can go with the Carly Bible palette. If you just want to be bougie you can get both like I don't think it's that big of a deal you know everyone's always like speculating like why 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 is Anastasia doing this like why are they launching so many products and you know I don't really have the answer um to the why but I mean are we really gonna get mad at Anastasia for doing the same thing everyone else is doing if anything like we should be partially responsible for how much makeup comes out as well because you know. Anyway, so my crease is done. I don't love the colors. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would have probably used different shades. Ooh, I'm trying to think of. Do I have a setting spray in here? I don't think I do. I want to wet my brush and try one of these shimmer shades. So okay, I bought you guys in a little bit closer, just so you could see how these shadows applied. So I put some on my brush. I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm gonna use the shade OA, um, which is like a gray purple with colorful shimmers in it. I've never seen a color like this from ABH. It's very sparkly, very unicorn, but like, it's like a What's the word? It's like a emo unicorn because it has like a purpley gray base and then tons of rainbow glitters. Mm, it's applying okay. I also feel really gross. Oh my god. I just got done with work and I'm filming this. So <laughs> sometimes I wish I had all the time in the world to sit and film. But I hope you guys understand that, uh, you know, I'm trying to make it work. So, anywho's, <laughs> this color is really cool. Wow, I can really see this, like, being somebody's, like, go-to look for the holidays. <laughs> and, uh, wow. This is a stunning color. Holy moly. I hope my camera is doing it justice. I literally feel like I have the universe, like a like a galaxy shadow on my eyes. I just want to blend it into the crease a little bit, just so it's like a good transition. And I'm gonna add a little bit more red. And that um, is the lid look. I'm just like making a mess here. Okay, so there's a lot of like rainbow sparkle on my eyes, but 
that's okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to some stuff that I got from my friends, so sweet. So Angie gave me these, um, which I'll probably use in a different video. These are the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. She wasn't sure what shade I would be, so she gave me two colors, Nutmeg, Sienna, and Deep Sable. I might have to do some kind of mixing. Haven't decided, uh, but I will work on that in a future video, so thank you, Angie. And then my friend Amy, sweet, sweet Amy, she roomed with us um, during Ipsy Live, and she gave me three shades of the new Juvia's Place foundation, stick foundation. She said she really, really likes it, so I'm really excited. This was so sweet. Like, this is the kind of stuff that helps creators grow. Um, because any makeup I don't have to buy is money that I get to save, which is honestly, like, beyond amazing. Um, because, you know, Ipsy was expensive. It was an expensive weekend. Like, it's so nice not to have to, like, take this out of my checkbook, <laughs> to be very honest with you guys. So here is the shade Dom Dominica Domin Dominicana. Dominicana? Is that how you say it? So there's that. That looks like a good match. I think I told her that I might be that shade. And then she gave me two more, so I'm going to open those and swatch them for you as well. I have a uh, Mauritian. So these are um, countries, I would say. Like, are they like Pacific? Like island countries. <gasps> oh, that one's cool too. Oh, I think it might be that. It's like a more warm tone. Okay. And then I have Madagascar. Hopefully this will help you guys out a little bit because at least you can see some swatches on Person of Color. Um, so sweet of her to think of me. Okay, that one feels a little bit more peachy almost. A little bit dark. But this is cool. I think I'd be able to mix them too and like use them up, you know, so they don't go bad so I think I'm gonna go with Mauritian for my entire face okay I got a sponge I'm just gonna blend I should have asked Amy how she likes to do this <laughs> what do I usually do with stick foundations I think I just paint all over my face which <laughs> is potentially very dry right now because like I mentioned I had worked all day and I haven't really done anything <laughs> skincare wise I forgot to watch Amy put this on when we hung out on Saturday morning or was it Sunday morning no Sunday morning she wore makeup that brave girl I was like I'm done I'm so tired you guys see in like Fargo we don't walk around like New Yorkers have to do to get places so I was just like I was like exhausted by the end, <laughs> end of the whole thing. Okay, so um, feels pretty full coverage. Um, it does feel kind of drying on me right now because I, like I said, don't have any skincare on. Um, but that's okay. You know, we'll um, be able to tell how it works. Um, for the most part. I'll like leave you guys. Oh wow, it's really thin. I thought it would be like cakey because they're um their their liquid foundation is very cakey <laughs> to be honest. I like it. It's very full coverage so know that if you're not a full coverage girl you're not gonna like this. Um like that one. This one I think well like I said my skin's really dry right now, so it's feeling kind of dry, but um, Amy also has dry skin, and she's not a full coverage person. I think she likes more of the dewy look, and she really likes this, so I would assume that I could probably make this work if I had hydrated. And then Angelica gave me a Nabla concealer. This is a close-up stay full smooth concealer in the shade Medium Peach. So I'm going to try it out. This is really cute packaging. Kind of reminds me of the Shape Tape. Uh-oh. I just dropped something somewhere. Oh, well. 
So I'm just gonna place that. Oh, this is very peachy. Oh, it smells good. It smells like coconuts. Angie, you know the way to my heart, girl. <laughs> okay, and this is a L'Oreal sponge, by the way. In case any of you were wondering. Oh my god, that smells so good and tropical and yummy. I definitely feel like I have like a mask on, but that's okay. Okay, Angie also gave me the OPV Beauty Powder in Loose Setting Powder in the shade Medium. Ooh, I like this color for this powder. I've been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. I think that's good. I'm not really going to do anything after this, so I'm just gonna leave that there. And then I'm gonna do my brows and be right back. Okay, so now for the face, I wanna use this palette. Angie bought me the Linda Hallberry Infinity Deep Palette. I've been talking about how much I wanna use this, I want how much I wanna own this. So that was so nice of her to pick this up for me. So I'm gonna go into my bronzer brush real quick and I'm just gonna use this to contour with the shade um, Umbra which I haven't really contoured in like a hot second, but it's fine. And I also hurt my hand, like, which sucks, but I didn't hurt it until I was home. So I think what happened was my bag was so heavy because it was full of stuff. And um, now my hand, my left hand, which is my, I'm left-handed. Um, in case y'all didn't know, I'm left-handed and it hurts like a, B, like a freaking B. So I'm just using MAC Give Me Sun to put some color back on my face after um, powdering. And then I wanna go in with my blush brush into the Linda palette and we're gonna throw on, oh, I could have used Red Shift as a bronzer, oh well. I wanna try um, Quesera, or Quesera, is that how you say it? Um, it's like a shimmery orange blush. I can't remember if Angie has this palette or not. I think she does. And she said the orange blush was beautiful. And it is. I mean, there's other, my Sweet Pea blush. This is the brush I've been using for that, but I don't think there's that much Sweet Pea on there. And then I want to highlight, I think I'm going to go into the shade Solar, which is like a yellow gold Anastasia brush, which is what I took with me on the trip. Ooh, this is pretty. Mm -hmm. You know what song is stuck in my head? I've got Camila Cabello stuck in my head, Senorita. Such a good song. <laughs> Highlighting. This is a nice highlighter because it's like a natural looking color and um if you guys are wondering if I bought anything at Gen Live, I didn't really um and then the goodie bag was so big um and it was just samples for me because I just went on Saturday I didn't go to create a day um so I didn't really want to pay for extra luggage, to be honest, just to bring back a whole bunch of samples. So I ended up just giving it most away to uh, my subscriber that I met on Monday afternoon um, before I left the airport. I met up with my subscriber that I was telling you guys about earlier, and uh, she hopefully has something to do with it. It's hard because it's like a lot of samples, and I don't really use a lot of samples, so I tried to take like what I really wanted and then I just gave her the rest. So hopefully she's enjoying them or she can pass it on to somebody who's gonna enjoy it. So I'm just taking the red shade Stev and I'm just blending that into my lower lash line. I hate blending my lower lash line because I inevitably stab myself in the eye. Um, and I always like make this weird face when I do it like I open my mouth like something's gonna fly in there. Um, so I'm trying to talk through it. So I think just the red and then I really, really, really wanna be that person that gets really good at putting things in my inner corner 
I think that that's like the one thing all of my YouTube friends that I met this weekend just rock at is putting like a really beautiful shade in their inner corner. And so I'm just going to pop the shade um, Boli. I'm going to put some in my brow bone as well. It's a very bright brow bone highlight. Um, and it's like a beautiful peachy shimmer shade with some silver flecks in it. So hopefully you guys will catch that in the light. And then I just need to spray my face, which I'm just going to use my go-to MAC Fix Plus. Take a little bath, hydrate in it. And then of course my dear, dear friend Angie gave me a Linda Hallberry Fantastic. This is her favorite color. She said this is the shade. I threw away the box. Um, Amatrine. And this is supposed to be like a cream blush, a lip, and a glossy eye. Uh, but I'm just going to use it as a lip today. I'm so glad she bought me this because I really wanted to try this formula because she raves about it so, so much. But I didn't want to buy it because I have so much stuff. So I'm glad she gave it to me so I could try it out. And all I need to do now is put some mascara on and I will be back to show you the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put this eye look together. So like I said, this was all makeup that I kind of had. Well, new makeup and then some awesome new stuff that my friends gave me at Ipsy Live, which was so, so sweet. So I wanted to make this video kind of give you guys some quick little first impressions on some of these products. So foundation, like I said, I feel like my skin, um, it's fine. It doesn't feel heavy. I feel like it looks heavy, but I think that's just because I film with my simple human mirror and it like double doubles like the size of my face. I can see everything and it just my skin looks so dry. So I'm definitely going to keep trying this with my regular skincare routine, which I usually practice in the morning time. And so I will report back on that for you guys. I also am so excited to have this palette. So I'm very, very thankful to Angelica for giving this to me. I cannot wait to keep trying this. I was really, really excited for this shade. I've always wanted NARS Taj Mahal and I feel like this is the perfect dupe. So I'm happy to have this. I feel like I'm gonna be able to produce lots and lots of looks with this palette. And then just thank you to Amy for grabbing these for me. That was so kind of her. And what else did we try? Obviously, I don't really have a lot of thoughts on the powder just yet because it's pretty new and the concealer um, did set pretty well and I don't think it was too light or anything. I think once I bronzed and everything, it was fine. I did wear the lipstick a few times already. Nice and comfortable, very creamy. It goes on like a glossy lip stain type product. So very, very nice and I definitely want to pick more shades up and I think they'll probably come out with new shades too, but there's like definitely like a hot orange that I have my eye on, so I'll definitely pick that up as well in the future, of course. So now for the main event, the Carly Bible palette. This is their winter palette or their Christmas palette or their holiday palette, however you want to call it. And I thought this was pretty unexpected for me, obviously. Like, again, they leaked it or it got leaked, so they had to launch it right away, which, you know, it's kind of getting a little old with ABH. I don't know how they keep accidentally launching stuff. I could, should I swatch this for you guys? I guess I could um, in case you guys wanted to see the shades on a tanner skin tone since I didn't use this entire palette today. So here are the first five shades. I have Boli, which is on my brow bone and inner corner. Bible is in my crease. Mandela, I didn't use today, but it's like a purple. Uh, Libra and Jode is this color. Here are some swatches. I do think this is going to be really flattering on a lighter skin tone, but I think the shimmers are so beautiful that they could also work on a deeper skin tone. The sad thing is that Anastasia has come out with so much stuff. I still haven't even used the Jackie Aina palette on camera, but I do have it. So I will hold these up next to each other for you guys to have a side-by-side -side comparison. 
in case you're curious about that. So here are the next five shades. We have Oe, Bowie, um, Bear, Moo, and Chai. And then Oe is the shade I have on my lid today. Ooh, Moo swatch gorgeously. Look at that bright gold shade there. Kind of the like all starting to look the same perhaps theory, but that's okay. I, it's fine. You know what I mean? It's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna swatch Cindy, Stev, which is also in my crease, Aura, which is beautiful, and then My Angels is also beautiful, like dirty gold shade. Let me swatch. Ooh, Aura's beautiful. It's like a pinky, rose gold, duochrome type color. So here are all of the shades from the Carly Bible palette. Please pause the video if you guys want to see any particular color, I have you guys zoomed in pretty good, so you should be able to get a good idea of how these shades look on my skin tone. I do have some of my favorite foundation shades listed in the description box. If you guys are ever wondering what my shades are, they are down in the description box. So that is the Carly Bible palette. So here is the... Carly palette next to the Jackie Ina palette. It's a very similar vibe. You know what I mean? I think if you have both, great. If you just want the one, that's fine too. But uh, yeah, I think one definitely, I think this one definitely screams more lighter skin tones, but I also feel like lighter skin tones can pull this one off too. So that's my two cents on that. Then uh, the Soft Glam palette, which I just used on a friend during her wedding. Oh, this palette is just so beautiful. I wish I could use it more. I love it so much. I don't think I ever gave you guys my thoughts on the Riviera palette, but honestly, it was probably one of the more disappointing Anastasia palettes. Um, it's not really my favorite color scheme or anything. Soul Tree, I rebought. I originally didn't enjoy it, so I got rid of it. Um, but then I repurchased it. I don't think I've ever used this one. Or maybe I have. I just haven't used it a ton. So I definitely feel like this one and this one would make really good companion palettes if you have both. I definitely sense that cool tone theme from both of these. So it's interesting that that's the vibe they went for for holiday. Of course, an oldie but a goodie. Miss Modern Renaissance is here. As you can see, that red shade kind of similar red tone um, with Stev, I believe. Uh, but of course, the Modern Renaissance is a classic. I don't use it though. I think I just hold on to it for comparisons. Here's the Norvina palette. This is another goodie palette. Like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I feel like these two would pair great together as well. So interested in doing that. And then here is a palette I picked up in my good fortune from uh, a tip from Miss Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. She had picked one of these up from Home Goods or Marshalls or whatever we want to call it, and she said the formula was different. And so I saw one at my Home Goods and I picked it up, and I'm so glad I did because I love this color story so much. And they definitely did redo this formula. So I'm so, so happy that I grabbed that. So yeah, I just wanted to compare the Carly Bible to the other. Anastasia palettes I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight palettes now from Anastasia. There have been a few that I have gotten rid of, like I don't have the Prism palette anymore. Is that really the only one? Because I did get some culture, so I guess Prism is the only one. Oh, and then like the Self Made, and I used to own some of those, but they were just sitting in my collection collecting dust, so I did get rid of them. But uh, yeah, hopefully the comparison was sort of helpful for you guys. I love the metallics. I'm not 100% sold on the mattes yet, but that's okay because I have other matte palettes that I can pull from, so that's not necessarily the end of the world. This color is beautiful. I will definitely play with these more. I think that I need to do a ranking my ABH palettes video. Like, you guys requested a ranking the Pat McGrath palettes, so that's coming. I did order her um, quad that's the exclusive to her website, the pink one. So once I test that out, I'll do 
a ranking video. She keeps coming out with new things, so I keep wanting to wait um, so that I can do it at once. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Anastasia will come out with another palette before the end of the year. Hard to say. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see me rank those palettes. I'd be happy to do that for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye, guys.